Fear is always a fantasy. And a fantasy is always of the future. So fear is a fantasy of what we believe the future will be. Fear is a fantasy of the future. And as someone said, if you want to make God laugh, just tell him or her what's going to happen tomorrow, what your fantasy is. So if, suppose I point a gun at you, your fear, you have fear. But what is the fear? Is it the fear that the, that the gun will go off, yes, that the bullet will hit you, that you will be hurt, that you will die? What is the fear? Well, there's a number of fears, one succeeding the other. But all I've done is, all I'm doing is holding a gun in my hand, pointing it at you, yes. But everything from then on is a fear of the future, what you imagine is going to happen. But I may pull the trigger and an American flag pops out or a firecracker goes off or the cigarette lighter works. It's your fear your of the future, of your fantasy. Think of all the horror movies. It's encouraging us to have a fantasy of what's going to happen when he opens the door. But it's all fantasy, fantasy. Fiction, it's not reality. Fear is not based on present reality. It's based on what we think will happen as a result of what we perceive, rightly or wrongly, to be the present reality. Let's talk a little bit about a present society. We, we keep having fear drummed into us, fear of terrorism, fear of terrorism fear of terrorism and we all create our own future fantasies of what that fear is going to do and then what happens is we mobilize hate as a defense against the fear so we've now made the people we we fear even more fearsome and so the governments have to allegedly protect us even more and so it cycles and cycles exponentially. It's all fear of future fantasy.